Hey guys, John Haas here today to show you how to play uh, Josh A's Mood Swing. It just came out and I had a couple students request it. Um, so I just wanted to kind of break it down and show you a little bit of theory while we're at it. Okay, so this is a fairly easy, repetitive song. Um, really simple chords, which I really like, but um, I'm gonna try to weave some theory. So the concept is that we're gonna find our root notes first. So that's gonna be C, which you should uh, kind of memorize where they are if you get a chance. So that's gonna be the eighth fret on the top string. Uh, the next one's E flat, which in this case, you could either play here, um, but because we're gonna be sliding the chord, we're actually gonna play here, 11th fret on the top string. And then the next note is G sharp or A flat, which is gonna be fourth fret, and then B flat or A sharp, sixth fret. So it goes C, E flat, A flat, B flat. When you get comfortable with that, with just one finger like that, we're gonna add the other note. Now the other note is uh, what they call the major third of each chord. Um, or major or minor third, so the third of, of each chord. So the first one's C minor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the root note here and then we're gonna add our finger on the third right here. So this is uh, directly underneath, this This is what makes it minor. If it's directly underneath, if we, I slide it forward one fret, it makes it happy major. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do C minor, then we're gonna slide it up to E flat and E flat is major. So instead of being flat like this, I'm gonna move it forward. And then G flat is major. So keep this shape and then B, uh, B flat, I'm oh, sorry, not G flat, that last one was A flat. Um, and then B flat major like that. So it's gonna go C minor, E flat major, A flat major, B flat major. And then the last thing you have to do is the picking pattern, which is gonna be thumb, index, thumb. So, and then immediately slide up to the next chord, thumb, index, thumb, down. Pretty easy. Um, the other cool thing is if you're learning to improv, um, you can always play the C minor scale over this, the blue scale. I really like the Josh A stuff because there's a lot of space for you, so you can kind of have some fun with it, experiment with your own lines, uh, your own melodies in between his singing. So um, hopefully that helps you in under three minutes on how to play Josh A's song and jam with it. If you get a chance, subscribe, and I will send more videos out, uh, hopefully weekly, and we'll see you guys soon. Thank you.